Hey guys. Um, this is going to be, uh, I was just kind of riding around my grandfather's place again and looking at some different uh, plants and such and uh, I want to do a video on this and I want to start early. So I'm calling this part one. This plant you're looking at right now is milkweed. Okay, and this is uh, the the plant in early stage um, where it's still, you know, nice and green. Uh, this plant has a lot of different uses um, from fire making to, uh, you know, certain parts are edible. Um, but I want to show you this right now in the state it is right now so that I can make, you know, part two, part three as time goes on and the plant changes because at different times, different times of the year, uh, the plant's useful, you, useful to you in different ways. Um, now this plant, when it's green like this, it, certain parts are edible. I'll be completely honest with you, I don't remember exactly what. I do remember that whatever it is, uh, I believe it tastes uh, similar to broccoli. <laughs> That's what I've read. But I can't remember what parts, so I'm not going to mention it at all because I don't want to confuse anyone or, you know, maybe possibly get someone sick by telling them the wrong information. So I'll hold off on that, you know, for part two. But I did want to show you this to you. Um, they're going to have these pods. Now these pods, when broken off, okay, let me pop one off to show you. Okay. Um, when these are going to open up and the inside you have, um, it's kind of hard to do this with one hand, but you have a bunch of seeds. Put this on my leg here and kind of break this open. This is a small pod too, so. Uh, these are very, very small. Let me grab a bigger pod over on this one. See if I can break this open. Eh, a little bit, eh. A little bit better. It's very hard to see here. They're very immature. But there's tons and tons of little seeds, okay? And as these pods get bigger and they kind of dry out. Sorry about that. There's a, a road right behind me. I'm on the corner of the property and there's a road behind me, so that was just a car passing. Um, sorry about the noise. Um, but anyway, when these are larger, the inside, those seeds, they harden up. And they actually fly away, similar to like a dandelion when you blow the seeds. You know, and they kind of fly in the wind. It works very similar to that, so they, they travel like that. Um, but these pods itself, the part that holds the seed, uh, very cool because when those are dried out in the winter time, you could spot these. Um, you can use those for, for fire making. Uh, they're very, very, you know, very good to uh, catch a spark and, and uh, start a fire. As well as these stalks on milkweed in the winter time when they're dried out, you can actually use them to make natural cord. And uh, this winter, of course, I will show you how to do that. Uh, but not right now while they're green. They have to be kind of dried out. But let me show you why it's called milkweed. Actually, uh, like some plants, you break it, it almost looks like it bleeds a milky, a milky sap. You see that all, all up and down there. See that on my finger? Just a pure white, very, very milky looking uh, substance. And for the most part, in the wild, when you um, come, come upon a plant like that, um, I would say more than average, uh, a milky substance plant like that when broken is not edible. Um, however, with milkweed, that is one of the exceptions, as well as dandelions. Uh, those are two exceptions um, to the rule that they, they do, they are a milky, they do bleed like kind of a milky sap there uh, when broken, but they are in fact edible, certain parts. Um, common, let's see, what else can I tell you about this? Uh, the actual milky substance, um, uh, monarch butterflies. The monarch butterfly is uh, black and gold. That's the uh, butterfly in New Jersey. I know that because I used to live in New Jersey and that was something they taught me in school. <laughs> um, but they actually feed off of this. They hang around these plants, these uh, milkweed um, plants, and they actually eat that. And what happens is that milky substance goes throughout their body, okay, because it is a part of their diet, and that makes them taste very horrible, and in some cases they're poisonous. So that's why the monarch butterfly, that's, that's where it gets its defensive system, is from this milky, milky substance in the, mil in the uh, milkweed, um, which is pretty interesting. So other animals, they know not to eat them. And for the most part, anything in the wild that's brightly colored, um, is usually dangerous to, you know, some animal anyway. Uh, like I said, in the case of the butterfly, as a bright orange, so animals know to stay away from them. And that's what it is. It, uh, in some cases it's poisonous, but for the most part, it just tastes really disgusting to them. So it's their, their kind of defensive mechanism. So a lot of times you'll see uh, monarch butterflies around milkweed um, plants. But I just thought that was kind of fascinating. I wanted to, you know, tell you what I knew about it. And of course I will have other parts because there's a lot to talk about about the milkweed. Very versatile plant. So that's the first uh, kind of introduction here to milkweed.
they have these big pods, you can't miss them. And when they flower, I'll show you what they look like when they flower up too. And that's it, they're all scattered among, among this high grass and weeds. Um, you know, they're all over the place. Very useful. So once again, thank you for your time. And uh, check out the other parts to milkweed uh, in future videos. So again, <laughs> thanks for your time. Thanks for watching. And I uh, hope you enjoy the video. Take care.